Hey, gonna take a moment to say thank you. <laughs> Just practice gratitude. Ideally, you want to do your gratitude every day in your mind, in writing, the way that works best for you. Just a good practice to allow us to focus on the positives of our day, of our week, month. This way you feel a little bit lighter and you can actually see that in among or amidst all things that are some good things. We tend to just focus on the negatives because we feel them strongly. Our body and brain focus on the negatives because it's a way of surviving by escaping them, by changing, by doing something about it. But if you only focus on the negatives, then you don't feel good. And we need to spend some time doing activities that allow us to feel good, balanced. And gratitude is one of them. <laughs> Feeling grateful allow us to um, say the good and acknowledge and savor. <laughs> Just see my shot, my top going down. <laughs> so, hmm. Take a nice deep breath into the belly. Feel it like a balloon. And slowly out. Mm -hmm. Can I have your hands in a prayer position or just let it rest in your <laughs> in your legs <laughs> or table, whatever place you are. <laughs> Let's um, be grateful for the bear that we have the comfort of the bed. <laughs> I'm going to say thank you for a few specific things. Oh, I'm so grateful for the warmth of my bed. Oh, it feels so good. My body feels so rested, warm. <laughs> I am grateful for the nights that I sleep through and wake up feeling nice and rested in the morning. <laughs> I am grateful for the breath that I take in moments of need to feel calmer, rested or more energised the breathing into the belly. I've done a few videos so if you need just check that out. <laughs> Allows you to breathing into the belly nice and slowly and deeply and slowly out. Allows you to calm down, to relax, to energise. So it's a nice exercise and I'm grateful for the comfort that he brought me <laughs> or the energy. What else? <laughs> I'd love to hear your... Actually, should we take turns? Okay. <laughs> I'll give you some space and then if you need more time, you just pause the video. <laughs> I'd always be here forever with a long video with loads of gaps. So, you go. What are you grateful for in this moment? One thing. I'm very grateful for you. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Remember to pause if you need longer to express yourself. I am grateful <laughs> for the day of sunshine. <laughs> the light. It's been grey most of the week and raining. So to have one day of sunshine oh, feels amazing. Almost feels that I have forgotten how nice it is to have a, a day full of I wouldn't say warmth, because it hasn't been warm, but light. Not a cloud in the sky. No, it's cloudy, but earlier on it wasn't. <laughs> the irony of it is that I haven't been out, but <laughs> I did savour it through stepping into the garden for a minute or two in the morning and noticing it at the window. <laughs> so I am grateful for my appreciation for the sunny 
<laughs> but away. What are you grateful for? <laughs> Pick the same or another one. Then. Hmm. What else am I grateful for? I'm grateful for the wits and the physical exercise. The wits because it's peaceful, there's a lot of fresh air, <laughs> a lot of trees, <laughs> and allows me to just um, I walk into the woods and exercise. Or a visit to the woods allows me to either energize or to let it all out and refill with goodness. <laughs> so I'm grateful for the relief, the goodness, <laughs> the joy. <laughs> what about you? What are you grateful for? <laughs> if you need to express yourself fully. <laughs> what else am I grateful for? I'm grateful that um, <laughs> I brought beans back into my life. <laughs> beans and whole grains. Well, I have this rabbit for lunch and to use them. I love that the fact that it makes you feel satiated for with plenty of energy but I did get out of habit during the Christmas period and um, bread does not fill me up I have a main meal in the evening but it's a few hours before the evening and the main meal is a complete meal with protein, animal protein, either fish or meat vegetables and um, carbohydrates, mainly potatoes <laughs> Because it's easy to digest and it's easy and quicker to cook. But I'm grateful that I got in back the habit of cooking those beans, lentils and whole grains for lunch with vegetables. It's light and gives you the energy you need. Because <laughs> bread, no offence. <laughs> I love bread. But it, you eat and an hour later you're full, you're hungry. <laughs> And then you've got not enough energy. I mean, I'm talking for myself. <laughs> I need energy <laughs> to move. <laughs> so I'm grateful for that. The fact that uh, those foods makes you feel full and light and energetic. <laughs> I wouldn't get rid of the rest of the foods either. I like them. Hmm. What about you? What are you grateful for? <laughs> nice one. <laughs> I have to imagine what you're saying. <laughs> I don't have a crystal ball, I'm afraid. <laughs> psychic. <laughs> Not that psychic. Mm. Just to give you an opportunity to say something and get into the practice of being grateful, that's all. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we could just, um, do you know the way we just sometimes meet? I don't like talking, I don't like meeting and moaning, even though sometimes I do. Actually, I do more than I want to. Sometimes you are in a role and you're just letting it all over your chest and has a place. 
but wouldn't it be nice if you could just get together with your friends and family <laughs> and even with strangers and just say let's just sit down together for five minutes and listen to each other talking about what we're grateful for today, this week, this month, this year <laughs> what a lovely conversation that would be if you're up for that call me anytime <laughs> I'm not leaving my number. Oh, it's not a secret, it's just uh, even though it's mainly for friends and family, a handful of friends, it's out there. Hmm. I want to keep my own privacy, so I'll keep it neutral. But yes, if you know my number and you want to practice gratitude, let's meet even better. And you'll be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just so that we feel um, that there is so much going on for us, more than we think and feel and acknowledge. <laughs> so, what else are you grateful for? I'm listening. grateful for my very hot, hot, I like hot, hot bath in the evening, oh my gosh, heaven, whatever mood I'm in, I can make it better, <laughs> with a hot bath just before bedtime, relaxes, warms, energizes, and then I'm ready for bed with a warm body and lighter spirit and I have an abundance of warm water which is great because not everywhere is like that if you go to Madeira you have to be very self-conscious of water and I'm not up for I'm not saying waste the water but we can um, use it to warm it up our bodies and feel better <laughs> save water but if you can use it to keep your spirit and your body warm. I know you can exercise to warm up. Ideally, you exercise a little before so your body's warm, so you don't need to spend so long in the, in the shower. <laughs> and this way you save extra water. But it does feel good. <laughs> and if you can connect that water into something, so you can use the water from the bath. I don't have that yet, but one day. <laughs> So it doesn't get totally wasted. <laughs> Perhaps I could use it to flush the toilet. I'd like that. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> oh, don't know how to do that. Maybe one day my husband will figure that out. <laughs> then I'll feel better that everything is being used in the most productive way. So I'll be grateful in the future when that happens. For now, I'm grateful for the um, I wish. What are you? What else are you grateful for? <laughs> well then. I'm happy for you. I am grateful that I got to hear and witness my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful great grandma. <clears throat> Playing with her cards. She's recovering. And uh, she did struggle a bit. <clears throat> And she's going through a recovery health process. And each time that there is a little bit of great news, even though there's so much to recover, so much to go through. 
it makes my heart feel joyful each time that something good goes for her. Tiny little things. I'm celebrating the tiny little successes. Even though she's eating through a, th through a s straw at the moment. And she had the assistance of my auntie to walk. I am so grateful that she managed to walk, even with assistance, because I'm focusing on the little wins, the little things that she's managing to do now. Yeah, that put the heart, put a smile in my face and filled my heart. It's like, yes, it's time. Yeah, focusing on that rather than the likes. <laughs> it's a long road, but it's going one little bit, one baby step at a time. <laughs> I'm happy for you. I am grateful my grandma has someone to look after her. <laughs> yes, it's nice when you're not well and knowing that there is someone out there that can um, do something to support you and help you. I'm very grateful that she has that. And I am grateful that we have the woods nearby, two minutes away, walking. So we can just step in as many times as we need and allow ourselves to feel better. And that goes for me and my son and my, my husband. I'll keep them out of the house. <laughs> Take turns. So they can have a bit of silence while they're out. Then I can concentrate. And savor <laughs> the quietness <laughs> or listen to my own stuff without observing. Um, yeah, I'm an observer of the good and the bad. <laughs> so when I observe the good, I feel good. And when I observe the bad, I'm not so good. So when they go out, <laughs> then I'm neutral, <laughs> which is good too. So what else am I grateful for? <laughs> what are you grateful for? One more opportunity. I'm grateful for you. I'm happy for you. I'm grateful that um, my nephew the other day fell asleep. It is. <laughs> it's my sister. It's pulling your hairs. <laughs> you know when children go for a spell where they don't settle to sleep. When they're less sleep they have, they don't feel so good, which impacts everybody else around. It's always grateful that he just settled in my chest. <laughs> always in a good place though, so, and it's easier. Just looking if having him for a day is very different from having him for a night. <laughs> Unless it's a real need. <laughs> but I've been there with my son, so I know his stuff. So my compassion for you, sister. <laughs> we'll get better. <laughs> so, what else are you grateful for? <laughs> I 
I'm very happy for you. Let me think, what else am I grateful? There's so many things, really, so many things. <laughs> really, so many things I'm grateful for. I love calm voices, warm voices, excited voices, <laughs> joyful voices. <clears throat> doesn't have to be a real puppy. It could be a favourite person. <laughs> your son, your daughter, your friend, your pet, anything that you feel warm about and you want to speak kindly and lovingly and warmly. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. <laughs> I'm grateful for those moments. Thank you. <laughs> Caught on camera. <laughs> yeah, so, do you know those people that you um, could be your family, your kids, someone else's kids, your strangers, Babies, we always speak to babies in a more softer, gentle, warmer manner. All the people as well. And um, we're sort of more playful with the elderly. I am at least. I'll, I'm playful with anyone, but if I'm feeling good, I'll be playful all the time, regardless of the age. Yeah, so when you feel good and you feel playful, and when you notice someone else, there's the more. Calmness. <laughs> yeah, I'm grateful for that. Yes. Something that keeps you excited and calm and relaxed and puts a smile on your face. Yes, I like that. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Do you know when we are feeling grateful, genuinely grateful, not just saying out our chest, but actually feeling it? We don't even need to make an effort to breathe. It just flows naturally. Our belly rises and falls. And we feel good. And we feel warm. <laughs> that is so good. Uh, what else am I grateful for? I'm grateful when I find the right music or the right answer comes to me 
in the shape of a something I read, something I listen. Yeah, could be, or even a song. I'm grateful for that. It's just like getting the answer on your hands, and that answer could be an idea, or it could be a solution. Oh, I'm so grateful. So grateful. So grateful. Oh, when you have some ideas and those ideas materialize into something good <laughs> and bring some goodness to yourself and others. Yeah, very grateful. <laughs> Heartful. <laughs> <laughs> What about you? What are you grateful for? I'm happy for you. I'm grateful that I saw my son feeling good <laughs> more than once. He's like me. We feel all emotions, good and bad. And um, I love when he... <laughs> we feel everything. <laughs> we hide nothing. But we do move from the little lowest to the highest, so I'm not worried. <laughs> it doesn't get stuck. <laughs> yes, so I'd love to see him when he's feeling good. In fact, anyone for that matter. Immediate family, myself and others, strangers. I love seeing people feeling good. I, I think that's my, I think my, the thing I love the most in life is to see people feeling good, especially those new to me. Best gift in life is to witness them feeling calm, relaxed, interested, joyful, playful. That's, that's what I love the most. Yes, when I notice, also for strangers, but more so for family members, because they Tied a little bit closer. If you see a stranger, I like them feeling good. And I know that because when I watch them and they're not feeling good, it feels terrible, it feels horrible. I can feel it. I don't like that. <clears throat> but when they feel good, I love that. I really do. <laughs> so I'm grateful that I have witnessed that in them. Mm, my son, a little bit my husband too, <laughs> he's more neutral, he's just neutral, but he has layers, but his layers are more subtle, <laughs> more, he's just more intense in the good and the bad, <laughs> him is just not, you know, British and Germanic, they tend to be more one expression for everything. <laughs> Latins. <laughs> We've got it in our blood. <laughs> and we feel it everything. <laughs> well, everyone feels everything, it's just we are more uh, expressive. <laughs> yeah, good and bad. <laughs> the highs and we also feel the lows. <clears throat> but we move. <laughs> Thank God and I'm grateful for that. 
Because <clears throat> then you are alive. Yes, as long as you don't do any damage to yourself and others, then you're good. <laughs> so what else are you grateful for? <laughs> I'm happy for you. I'm also very grateful for all the help that I do get from my husband. And he's a lot. <laughs> he helps more than I do. <laughs> he's bigger. <laughs> so yes, more strength. <laughs> yeah. So the help should be by the size of the person. So it's almost twice as my height. So he deserves to carry more. No, it's not that. It's just, um, he does some things with so much ease. They're like, oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm not stopping you. I'm not getting out of the way. <laughs> so I'm grateful for that. Mm, he goes shopping. Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't have to go shopping. How good is that? I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> and he vacuums the house. I clean the bathroom. <laughs> and he puts the dishes away. I cook. <laughs> one, one. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yeah. My son, not so much. In fact, he does nothing. The boy does nothing. <clears throat> not so happy about that. But between now and him leaving the house, things hopefully will <laughs> all change. <laughs> Yes, uh, literally, officially today, we realise he's taller than me. Mm, not sure if that's a good thing. He's only 12, but... <laughs> I like it now, because we can hug and we're the same height. But never mind. I'm talking about being grateful. So, <laughs> it's healthy. Let's be grateful. And I love kissing his cheeks and hugging him. So I'm grateful for that. God, a young chick to kiss. <laughs> I love that. Those cheeks. Mm. <laughs> and I love that um, he still asks me to watch stuff with him. Only because, it's not because he needs my company, just because he likes hearing me laughing in the background. Oh, I love because I love hearing you laugh. <laughs> So I'm grateful that he appreciates my laughter. My husband not so much. He say he does, but he doesn't budge. <laughs> I can do all kinds and all sorts in his days. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> he says he does appreciate, so I'll have to believe him. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> what else are you grateful for? <laughs> There's so much. There is so much to be grateful for. We could literally spend a couple of hours. Oh my gosh. Literally, if I'd allowed myself, I'd be here for hours. Just saying what I'm grateful for. And with committees. Yes, there is so much going on for us. <laughs> But I'm also conscious that to be a reasonable amount of time on this video, so I hope this exercise has encouraged you to spend a little time every day practicing gratitude <laughs> so that you notice how much that is in your life that is good and positive from the food, the health the people, <laughs> the 
fresh air, the breathing, the smiles, the laughter. And um, even in witnessing others, feeling good. <laughs> and there's so much more, so much more, so much more. <laughs> so much more to feel grateful for. And even though we are going through this um, pandemic, and I do not mean to make it um, light of the situation, but um, a lot of good stuff is happening. So let's just focus on the good <laughs> that is going. Let's just focus on the good. Because when we focus on the good, then we see more good. And when we see more good, we do feel better when we focus on the good. It also gives us an opportunity to generate more good. <laughs> we may be going through the pandemic, but we have water. Oh, I hope you do. I do. Grateful for that. <laughs> and I've got heating. I know in Madeira you don't, but um, you have a home and some people don't. So, I'm grateful for my home. Little. <laughs> but at least I don't have to worry about it. How nice that is. Grateful for that. And now let's pick our moment of the week. And silently just smile in appreciation and gratitude. Okay. that you're most grateful for. So, three, two, one, go. Oh my God. Yes. happy that you have a favorite moment. The number one prize goes to <laughs> No, they're all good. You don't need to put them in order. They're all good. <laughs> Be grateful every day. I do my gratitude mainly when I am um, in the shower at night. Actually, tend to do my gratitude when I'm feeling rubbish. <laughs> As a way to feel better. But I do, I, I spend a moment being grateful when I wake up and it's idle be. I'm grateful that I slept through the night or I'm grateful that I got some rest or I'm grateful for my warm bed covers. And um, you can even be grateful for another day of your life. Um, so whatever feels light that doesn't carry any resistance. If you say I'm grateful for another day, but you are in pain <laughs> or feeling or going through a challenge in your life, then it might not feel so good to feel, to say and feel those words. But you could go, I'm grateful that I've got some relief, I've got some help. Um, at least I can still do this. Whatever feel, because you want to be grateful and light-hearted. Because um, if you don't, then it doesn't feel so good. <laughs> you want to feel you you want to be grateful, but feel grateful. Two different things. That is the grateful way. You just let it all out. Yeah, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. But you're not really feeling. It's just the same words. And it is grateful what you actually feel in your heart. I had one of those moments this week. And it was so good. More than one. So, for those moments. Thank you, thank you. And I wish those moments for you many times over. <laughs>
be grateful. I'm grateful for this moment. <laughs> Just give me an excuse to <laughs> share my gratitude. <sighs> Bye for now. <laughs> be grateful. Feel grateful. And uh, find something to be grateful to every day. <laughs> Connect with your heart <laughs> and feel the gratitude. And the gratitude will fill your heart ten times fold with a warmth that feels good. <laughs> and now I am grateful for the movement that I will be generating. <laughs>